Hey Chime TV people, quick tip, quick tip. So if you can see inside this kitchen, see this damp here? Oh, get my fingers right there and there. Come down, I've been asked to have a look at this in case it might be a washing machine issue. As you can see, the washer's there. Let's take off. Now if you look at this, can you see how the, the plasterboard's moving? I'm trying to do it without shaking my hand. Uh, if I put that there, it's right, stable now. So all this, all this plasterboard here is loose. And if you look at the floor, you can see that the bonding there has fallen off. So if we look above, we've got damp on the ceiling damp here, you can see where it's slightly been running down, let's have a look so we can get it closer, can't reach this high, but there's other evidence of leaks on the ceiling here, and all damp up here, <sighs> nice, so I'm having a look outside, now this is a common problem that we find, here. So this is the, this in here is where the washing machine is there and then this is where the damp is in the plasterboard and on the outside of the building here this is external insulation and render. So first of all what could be the issue is can you see, just move, out, move myself out of the way, can you see how this has been built up from the floor so it's raised up and as you go along there means the height is above the the height of this is higher than the ground level inside so it's probably breaching breaching the damp course so that's going to create rising damp and then if we zoom in not sure if you can see the pointing but there's no pointing in these bricks it's all deteriorated so all this bottom end here needs needs um, pointing and if you look in close you know this there's moss and all sorts there's complete holes so all that down there is soaking wet. So all, all this here needs, all these pebbles and everything needs moving away in some sort of barrier pulling down there. <coughs> Another issue that happens with these things is at the top of this insulation and render, is at the top, is at the top there, is where it's joined to the house, there's normally just like a metal tray at the top and all there is to stop the water getting behind it is like a bead of silicon. So what probably needs to do is a, a quick repair up there or something like flash band to stop any water getting behind because otherwise water, when it rains the water comes behind there inside here there's all rock wool and the water just runs behind and it's like having a sponge on the on the brickwork so it's a bit of a design fault it's not installed properly because the top part the top of the, the top of insulation and render should be like this So that the water can run away whereas a lot of times we find it's more straight so the water's got nowhere to go and if that bead of silicon between the brick and the top of it <clears throat> um, if the bead of silicon between the top of the top of the, the, the cover and the brick is, is deteriorated and there's nothing stopping the water going down or running backwards and then like I say you've got like a wet sponge on your brickwork so top tips for external insulation and rendering